Financial markets in turmoil. What are the root causes of the financial crisis? The dollar losing value. Heading for its biggest loss in nearly three decades. Will Social Security even be there? I don't know. Buy or rent? That's a very good question. Interest rates? I'm not so sure. Where do you put your money? I don't know. Welcome to the show that answers your questions. This is Follow the Money Weekly with your host, economist, and best selling author. Here's Jerry Robinson. Welcome to you all around the world and welcome to Follow the Money Radio. So grateful to have you along for the ride today. Today, my name is Jerry Robinson. I am an economist, the founder here at followthemoney.com. We have created a trading system. Our profit tracker trend trading system is used by individuals and institutions around the world. And I've been trading since 1996. I traded my very first stock in 1996, traded my first option in 2002 and traded my first cryptocurrency back in 2012. So we've been around helping people here at followthemoney.com since 2010 with learning how to understand the economy, understanding how to get involved in trading, becoming a better investor. All of this stuff has been happening right here at followthemoney.com. And I'm so grateful to have you here for this very special podcast. Today, we're going to be tackling the topic of wisdom keys for new traders, five wisdom keys for new traders. There's so many new people entering Wall Street for the first time. Uh, We see this especially in 2020 with all of the wild price volatility that we've seen in the markets, which is attracting people, you know, to come in and speculate, no doubt, because we've seen such seismic moves down and up. You know, I often tell my trading students that what a surfer wants or what a surfer needs is a wave. You know, he needs a big surf. And, uh, you know, well-known and popular and good surfers or dedicated surfers, maybe is the better way to say it, will often hunt the world, search the world for the perfect wave. Well, the same thing is true for traders or trend traders. You know, we teach a special type of trading here called trend trading. That's something that we've been focused on for some time. And trend trading, in essence, what you need is you need a trend, right? You need an uptrend or you need a downtrend. You need movement. You need volatility. You need a big wave. If, you have a, if you're going to be a surfer, you need a big wave. And if you're a trader, you need a trend. Well, that's e- exactly what many people see with this market. They see so much volatility that it attracts speculators. And so we have seen a big influx of retail investors, retail traders coming in to try to speculate in this market. And the evidence of this is seen, of course, in the mainstream financial press. We've heard a lot about the Robin Hood trader. We've also uh, seen quite a bit in the way of options. You know, the, if you look at the Google trends for search results, You'll find that trading or call options, day trading, these types of search results have really spiked uh, over the last uh, several weeks. And here at Follow the Money, because we're a trading education and investment education firm, you know we've seen a lot of new interest flooding into you know our in, uh, literally our inbox. We've been seeing to our website a dramatic spike in visits. So we know that there are a lot of people who are interested in trading. And one of the things that we wanted to do today, knowing that, is provide some wisdom keys. One of the things that we like to do here at Follow the Money is provide wisdom and education and experience. And of course, we're not financial advisors, so I don't necessarily tell you what you should buy. And in fact, I would urge you as a new trader, for those of you who are new traders out there, not to take your cues just from any individual who wants to tell you what to buy. That's not really how trading should work or should operate. A good trader learns how to do his own due diligence. But 
one of the things we want to do is we want to provide guidance and wisdom to people who are trying to figure out how to turn trading into an income stream. So today on today's podcast, five wisdom keys for the new trader, for new traders. And, you know, let's begin by just talking about trading itself. You know, trading is an excellent skill that anyone can learn. I'm convinced of this. Over the last many, you know, over the last several years, I guess the last decade now, I've taught thousands of traders all around the world, and many of them are certainly not just here in the United States. So many different global markets, many different kinds of markets. And what I can tell you is that I personally believe that trading is the ultimate home-based business. And there's many reasons for this. We could go through the, the list of many reasons. You know, one of them is just no inventory. Unlike most other home-based businesses, a trader doesn't have any inventory to buy or to maintain. He can work from anywhere. He can work from the comfort of his own home. He can work uh, from you know anywhere in the world as long as there is an internet-connected device uh, that he can uh, access. As a trader, you don't have any customers. That makes it a nice home-based business, doesn't it? Virtually every other home-based business requires you to build and maintain a customer database, but not with trend trading. As a trader, you have no customers to please. You also get a lot of intellectual stimulation out of trading. You know, the stock market is always changing and every single day is different. So it provides a lot of mental stimulation for those who thrive on being challenged. There's no sales. There's no marketing gimmicks when it comes to trading, right? That makes it an ideal home-based business. You don't have to sell anything. You don't have to rely upon gimmicks or gimmicky marketing or high-pressure high sales tactics to sell stuff to your friends or family, right? It's literally no sales, no marketing. There's no manual labor. Uh, the only labor that really exists in trend trading is mental, not physical in nature. There's no toilet to unclog. There's no yard to mow. There's no mechanical issues to fix. The exertion exists in the mind. There's also no employees. You know, one of the challenging aspects of running a business is staffing good employees and keeping them happy. Well, traders don't have to hire, fire, or pink slip anyone to make money in the market. They have unlimited income potential. Every single day, billions of dollars worth of stocks are traded in the U.S. and global stock markets. And as a trader, you have the opportunity to participate in that exchange. You don't have a boss as a trader. You don't have any suppliers. You don't have any vendors. And you have no one really to please. And you get to set your own schedule. You get to work when you want, how you want, and from where you want. So this makes trading, I think, one of the most superior in ideal home-based businesses that anyone can start. The problem is, is that, you know, many traders come to this, quote unquote, you know, to this business uh, of trading, and they, they have a dream of getting rich, and they don't really oftentimes view trading as a business. And that's what I want to confront today, is I want to challenge you especially those of you who are newer traders out there, to understand a few key things so that you can su survive uh, in this incredible home-based business, that you can actually make this you know, a part-time income for a very long period of time, make it a new stream of income that won't just run dry uh, after the first few months of excitement have worn off. You know, if you go back and you look at the actual statistics, they're pretty grim for traders. You know, every trader kind of comes to the table with this these hopes and dreams of being able to succeed in the market. And if you look, and we look, you know, not only at our own data that we have here, but all the people I've coached and all the people I've mentored and talked to, you know, around 40% of new traders only trade for about one month before they quit. So that leaves about 60% of traders who start, you know, from day one, actually making it to day 30. So the, you know, almost half of traders will drop off uh, within the first month. Uh, and then if you look at the very first two years of a trader's, you know, lifespan, you'll find that 80% of traders quit in the first two years. So that leaves only, you know, one out of five traders who starts actually still around two years later. Now, that's that's a really quite accurate. You know, that's really kind of where it is. If you look at after five years, around only 7%, 7 to 10% of traders are still trading. 
after five years. And so what this tells us is that many people get in, involved in trading, but then they discover that it's not as easy or it's not all that maybe someone had told them that it was cracked up to be, or maybe they find out that it's too difficult, or maybe they're not really understanding how it works, or maybe they lose their money. You know, who knows why they stop? But you can, we can imagine a whole myriad of reasons uh, why they would stop, but they certainly do. And so today, what I want to do is I want to share with you five wisdom keys that will help you continue to be one of those 7 to 10% who are still trading successfully after five years and not to be one of those new traders that just burns out quickly. And the reason is, is because of all the reasons I just listed to you. You know, if you desire to trade, then you desire something that's very powerful. You desire an income stream that you can turn on in your life that you can constantly have access to for as long as you want. You know, it's a skill. Trading itself is a skill that you can learn it's like a trade uh, that you can actually attain to and you can have it for the rest of your life. But again, what I have seen as a coach is I've seen that many people don't realize how much time and how much energy and how much exertion, mental exertion, it is actually going to require to re achieve all of those benefits. So let's begin with these five wisdom keys to, you know, to comprehend and to think about for those who are new to trading. The very first thing that I would bring up is the very first wisdom key is to know what type of trader that you are. Now that may sound, you know, simple. That may sound unreasonable. You say, well, I know what kind of trader I am. But in fact, many people really don't. Uh, there's at least three popular trading styles that are used by traders all over the world. And these include day trading, swing trading, and position trading. Now, I would submit to you that most people don't start out knowing that, and they just tend to trade whatever moves, and they tend to trade whatever, whenever they have time. And they don't really you know, approach it thinking to themselves, what kind of trader am I? And so it's very important, I think, from the get-go for you to identify your trading style. Very, very key. So let's just run through the three different styles briefly. And you think to yourself, which one best fits you? And then you can take that and you can continue to pursue that as you go forward. Again, you want to make sure that your trading style fits your lifestyle. And too often people fail because they choose a trading style that just does not make sense. For their lifestyle. So think about that as we list these three. So let's begin with position trading. Now, personally, I am a what you would call a part time position trader. I have been a day trader in the past. I also have certainly been a swing trader in the past. I still swing trade and I occasionally day trade. But today, if you were to ask me what kind of trader am I, our students know this, I've taught them over the years, what my preferences are. And my preference is a part-time position trader. So the part-time position trader is one who seeks to discover new trends just as they are beginning to develop. And he will buy that position and hold it for several months or even years in order to fully exploit the full, the full extent of the trend. So in other words, the position trader attempts to buy at the lowest possible price at the beginning of an uptrend and he holds until the primary trend of this overall trend is finally exhausted, right? So a position trader is going to be holding for a longer period of time. So think to yourself, if you have a job during the day, that probably suits you better than maybe someone who's a day trader. Let's talk about day trading next. Day trading is the almost the exact opposite of position trading in the fact that no one is buying and holding for months, right? In this case, um, day traders are what they're doing is, is they're attempting to exploit an existing trend for minutes or hours, right? So they're just looking for an, a current trend and they're going to jump on for maybe a few minutes. Maybe they're going to hold for a few hours, but the goal is to get in and get out in the same day. Now, day traders often employ large amounts of capital on each trade. 
and they're looking for a small move in the stock so that they can create or generate a profit. But as you can imagine, day trading takes a lot of time, right? It's something that requires a lot of your time. And so if you have a full-time job, day trading can be very stressful, whereas position trading can actually fit right into your schedule. And then finally, there's swing trading. Swing trading is not quite position trading in the fact that you're not holding for months or even years in a particular position. And it's not day trading in the fact that you are buying and selling within the same day. Instead, what a swing trader does is he seeks to carve out profits from existing trends once they've already formed and have been confirmed. And the swing trader will typically hold a position anywhere from a day to several weeks. So those are the three different styles. You have the position trader who holds you know, new uptrends for a period of months or maybe even years to fully exploit you know, the, the lion's share of the gain. The swing trader will exploit that existing uptrend, but will only hold that position for maybe you know, days or weeks. And then the day trader, of course, is someone who gets in and he holds for maybe minutes or hours but he sells within the same day. Now, you know, I've done all of these. I've, I started as a day trader and I slowly migrated towards swing trading. Really, really enjoyed both of them. Day trading is fun. You know, it really can be fun, but the problem is, is that it gets also very stressful. And to be a successful day trader, you really just can't just uh, ignore the market for three months and then just jump back in and then day trade. Like day trading, you're going to have to kind of keep your finger on the pulse a lot more than you do as a position trader, right? So you might think of in terms of day trader requires the most amount of information about the market at all times. A swing trader uh, requires maybe just a little bit less. And a position trader requires a little bit less. So the longer t that you're holding the position, I would say, I don't want to use the word easy, but it would be perhaps more fitting to someone who has a full-time job. So keep that in mind. Choose what type of trader you are, and specifically, make sure that you choose a trading style that fits your lifestyle. Okay, so that's wisdom key number one for the new trader. N uh, wisdom key number two is also very important, and that is to treat trading as a business. So again, many people, for some reason, when they go to start you know, a retail business, they get it. They're like, I got to start a business. And they realize that it's going to take time and sacrifice. And, or maybe they're going to go start some other kind of business. And they realize that they're going to have to have this and they're going to have to have that. They're going to have to get certifications. They're going to have to get, you know, a license or whatever. And they're going to have to get this training. But when it comes to trading, it's almost like everybody's an instant expert, right? Where they literally just like, well, hey, you know, you just got to buy the stock and sell it. It seems pretty simple. Well, that's not exactly the way that it works. And that's why you see so many traders that fail to make it beyond month one, right? So you want to treat your trading as a real business. That's if you want to actually be doing this for some time. So ultimately, no matter what you choose, your success is going to boil down to a few things uh, in trading. Number one, are you treating your part-time trading as a business, right? Are you treating it as a business? Do you have a structure? Do you have a comfortable place to trade from, uh, free from distractions? Uh, do you have trading rules, right? Can you spend a consistent amount of time to devote to this business every single day, every single week, every single month? So do you have office hours? Do you treat this like a business? Does your family know that you're trading and are they respecting that? Have you had conversations? And many times when I've coached individuals, I'll find out that one spouse is against that spouse trading and the other spouse resents it and trades anyway. So you have to make sure that, you know, if you're married, that you're on the same page. You don't want to be using money that is rent money to trade. I mean, there's so many little things like this. You would think, well, people know this. No, they really don't. You have to you have to really say these things. And I want to stress to you, if you're a new trader and you're excited about the market, don't put the market before your spouse and you're married. You know, don't put the market before your spouse. Don't put your desire for gains from the market before your spouse's wishes. You know, get some sort of 
uh, collaboration on that, get some sort of uh, agreement on that. That way you're not going to have hostility in your household just to trade. And I know, again, some of you say, I don't, I don't understand that I'm not married. But, you know, if you are married and you have tried to trade with money, perhaps that your spouse would prefer you not to or whatever the case might be, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to you. I've coached so many people on this topic. It's vital that you have some sort of cohesion in your family and in your household whenever you're trading. So don't do this. Don't be, you know, a, uh, uh, you know, don't be someone who, you know, just kind of blithely does this and doesn't take into consideration your family's wishes. Don't trade your rent money. You know, don't trade money you can't afford to lose. Treat this like a business, right? Get real serious about it. Show people that you're serious about it. Carve out some office hours. Create a structure. Get that comfortable place to trade free from distractions and commit, you know, however many hours it takes every single week to studying what you want to focus upon so that you treat it like a real business. Okay, so that's wisdom key number two. Treat your trading like a business. Get, get serious about it. Let people see that you're serious about it and be consistent. Okay, wisdom key number three. Don't have unrealistic expectations. This is huge. This is so huge. So whenever you go online, particularly places like Twitter or Facebook, you go onto social media, oftentimes m many new traders will come into trading because they have seen someone bragging about how much money they're making from trading. In fact, that's exactly how I came across trading back in 1996. I had a friend who was working at the same place I was. I was in corporate America at the time. And uh, he was trading, and this was b back in the, you know, 1996, so we were getting ready to move into the big dot-com bubble era, and he was making money. He was making consistent money by trading stocks, and I was very curious, and so I talked to him, and he kind of explained to me what he was doing, and that's how I got involved with trading. So ultimately, it's usually somebody who you know, or maybe somebody you don't know, that shows you that, hey, this is a way that you can make money. And too often on social media, we get these pictures of, you know, making money uh, through trading as being something very unrealistic, a very get rich quick mentality. And that, of course, is often portrayed so that people can sell, you know, their wares, they can sell whatever they're selling. So if they want to teach you how to trade, then they'll pull out their Lamborghini and show you the show you the the uh, the six girls around their Lamborghini and how they're living on an island or whatever. Okay, well we we see that and and we understand what that is, but that's all gimmicks and marketing, right? And we should know that. Uh, we shouldn't have to be told that. So don't have unrealistic expectations here. Don't look at marketing from trading educators or tr or trading gurus and assume that, you know, that's what you're going to have, right? View your trading business um, with realistic expectations, right? And the best way to do that is to think about your trading business as a marathon and not a sprint. Think about it as a marathon and not a sprint. It's important to understand that when you begin trading, you are going to hit a few home runs. You are going to have some major successes along the way, and that's going to be exciting. But sadly, too often, the trading gurus out there only focus upon their, you know, their home runs, and they never tell you about all of the other things that go into trading. And so oftentimes we can just get this very false picture of trading is that I simply go out every day and I make, you know, $5,000, or I go out every day and make $50,000, and it's just so easy. I have heard that phrase so many times this year, is that trading is easy, and I want to combat that right now and tell you that trading is not easy. It is not easy. Now, we we can simplify it and turn it into a simplified system, but it's not easy. Trading is not easy whatsoever. Successful trading. Now, it's very easy to lose money on trading, but it's not easy to make consistent money from trading. It's an arduous career. It takes lots of time. It takes lots of patience. Ask any trader who's been doing it for more than three months, and they'll tell you that it takes patience and discipline and effort to succeed. And so, again, 
perhaps by dropping the get rich quick mentality, I'll tell you one of the biggest red flags I see whenever I'm coaching a new student is if someone is saying this, if they're saying, I need to replace my current full-time income within the next six months through trading, I instantly know that that person has unrealistic expectations. Now, it's not that you can't replace your full-time income through trading. You certainly can. But what you're going to need to do that is lots of time, lots of patience, lots of discipline, and likely a pretty large amount of capital to get started. So again, drop the get rich quick mentality and instead view trading as a skill that you're going to adopt that is going to provide you a new stream of income in your life for the rest of your life. View it as a marathon. If you view it as a sprint, then you're gonna be searching for home runs every single day and when you're constantly swinging for the fences, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt yourself pretty good. And I say that from lots of experience. So when you view your trading as a marathon and not a sprint, I believe that you're thinking about it correctly. So that's number three. Don't have any kind of unrealistic expectations here. Be ready for the long haul here. Drop the get rich quick mentality here and focus and realize you're starting a business and it's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take effort. It's going to take money and you're going to lose money. But o over time, you will be able to turn this into an income stream. Just view it with eyes of wisdom and not eyes of greed. Now, let's move on to wisdom key number four. This one, extremely important and something that I teach our students over and over again here at followthemoney.com. And that is the need to study, study, study. You will never earn the profits from trading that you desire if you don't put time in to study, study, study. And what do I mean by study? Well, you know, the average American today watches well over two hours of television, and they also spend quite a bit of time on social media. But they only invest 20 to 25 minutes per day in actual education. That's according to experts. So, you know, the fact that we have so much consumption, media consumption going on, but so little education going on explains what we're talking about here. When you study, we're not talking about hopping onto Facebook and reading what the gurus say. When we say study, we're not talking about hopping onto Twitter and seeing what the latest and greatest trader has to say. But instead, what we're saying is that you want to study charts, right? You want to study success. Now, real success, not social media success, not un, not unaccountable success, but real documented success. You can go back and read books by traders who have succeeded in the past, and you will learn so much. In fact, much of my own work and my own research early on was focused upon studying the success of traders of the past. And I was blown away by what I discovered in that research. And in fact, I share 12 of the lessons that I learned from these greatest traders of the past in a video that I'll give to you for free. Uh, in fact, all of our members already have this video for free. So if you're a member to simply log into your dashboard, member dashboard. But if you're not a member, just go to followthemoney.com forward slash trading rules. And there you will be able to download not only our trading rules that we provide, but also a video on the 12 lessons from the world's greatest stock traders. And the things that you'll learn in that video that we've created, and you'll have it access to it for free when you just type in your email there, followthemoney.com forward slash trading rules, is that when you what you'll notice when you watch this video is that many of the things that the greatest traders discovered, they really buck conventional wisdom. And they go against your own thinking of what things should be. And this is vital for you as a new trader. You have to experience and understand some of these things that defy conventional wisdom in order for you to understand what really works in the market. So again, study, 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 study success, study charts, right? You should have a charting software of some kind. If you're a trader, many people use their own uh, brokerage account for, the, for their charts. That's great. You can also use things like stockcharts.com, which I really like, finviz.com. 
Uh, also, you know, here at Follow the Money, we have our own charting software, and you can use that to identify new uptrends, new downtrends. That's what our members use it for. So you want to study charts. When I was when I got started as a trader, I would literally print out charts and just draw on them, and I had you know charts marked up all over uh, the place. I would go to bed, I would fall asleep looking at charts. I would draw on them, and I would really look for the patterns in them. You have to study uh, charts if you want to succeed at trading charts, right? You have to study success if you want success. You need to study your market. You need to study how rising interest rates affect your market. You need to know how rising or falling interest rates affect your market. You need to know, uh, you know how inflation would affect your market, how deflation would affect. You have to spend time thinking about you, what your market is. What is my market? What am I focused on, right? This is the other thing is you want to focus even on your niche. One of the most powerful things we teach our members and traders, uh, trading students here is the importance of developing a trading niche. Oh, it's just so, it's so, it's so many new traders fail because they don't think these things through. And so these wisdom keys are designed to help you succeed and make it so that you can, you know, five years down the road, look back and say, I'm so glad that I didn't just burn out after a month or two of trying to trade, I'm so glad that I spent time developing the skill set needed so that I could keep this as an income stream for the rest of my life. Because friend, you can, you really can. That's what I did. In 1996, I learned how to trade. And I can't tell you how many times I wanted to quit in my mind and how many times I literally did just you know, throw in the towel for a few months. But I always came back to it. And I always tried to get better and better. And I think that's what ultimately you can do as well as the new trader. All right, let's move into, for the sake of time, let's move into our fifth and final wisdom key today. I hope these are helping you. They're really designed to help you. I just wanted to do a quick podcast to really help that new trader. I see so many of them out there and I see a lot of bad advice going around and I just want to step in with some wisdom and hopefully redirect some of the new traders that are out there into a path of wisdom so that they won't fall prey to so many of the simple mistakes that they can avoid through you know, through wisdom. Okay, so let's uh, move into wisdom key number five, and that is to adopt a rules-based trading approach. Oh, this one is extremely important. Most traders, most traders are all over the place. They're, they're constantly changing their approach. Every trade looks different. They jump from one time frame to the other. They change indicators in the middle of a trade. They chase prices up. And on and on and on. They don't have a trading plan. They don't have any structure. They don't have any kind of consistent approach. And this leads them to overtrade, right? So they will literally just start trading anything that moves. Well, this is a really big problem. So rules are designed to protect you, right? And if you don't have trading rules, then you are going to be hurt. I, I can promise you that. If you do not have trading rules in place, you're going to get hurt. And so, you know, this is something that I'll see with new traders when I'm coaching them is that we always try to stress that they begin to create their own rules. I can think of one of our own students here, uh, a, a fellow by the name of Steve R. He lives down in Florida. And he came to our first trend trading boot camp uh, back in 2019, the live one right there, right after our uh, 2019 Follow the Money Summit. And he uh, he literally wrote out his own rules and was willing to share them with other people. I mean, he did he did a whole lot of work. And I am just so proud of, of guys like, you know, Steve R down in Florida, who you know, just took the bull by the horns and really understood, I've got to make my own rules. And he even got to the point where he said, you can't listen to everything that a guru says, you actually have to follow your own rules. Well, that's what I'm talking about, friends. You've got to get to that place where you don't need anyone else. All you need is the price. All you need is the volume. All you need is the chart. And you have the experience to understand what's happening. Uh, you don't need anything else. And, and, uh, and if you're using rules, then you're going to highly insulate your capital, highly insulate yourself, and highly insulate your psyche from the potential problems that arise in trading. So again, the, the average new trader does not have any clue what, what rules he should follow, right? 
and he's all over the place. So again, they'll enter a stock because this happened on the chart, but then they won't use that same thing. They'll change their strategy once they're in the stock, or they'll set a stop loss, or they won't use a stop loss, or maybe they'll set the stop loss and then they'll move it down whenever the stock goes down, or maybe they'll average down, they'll buy the stock after it's already gone down, and then they'll buy it again when it goes lower. I mean, there's so many different rules that the greatest traders of the past are screaming at us saying, don't do these things. These things are how you fail. And yet people continue to do them because they don't have any rules in place. And as I mentioned, people tend to over trade whenever they don't have rules. So they'll wake up and say, well, it's Tuesday. I got to trade today. And then they'll just start trading whatever moves. That's literally what they do. And I know because I used to be one. I used to be a person who didn't have rules when I first got started. I just traded because it was fun. And guess what? I lost money in that kind of trading, right? You have to have rules. And oftentimes people will literally just go chase stocks looking for, you know, looking for a profit. What I teach our students here is that you have to let stocks come to you. You have only so much money, right? How much money do you have? You only have so much money. And so and there's how many stocks out there? Five, six, seven, eight thousand stocks. Who knows? There's thousands of stocks that you could choose from, right? And so you, as the person who has that capital, you have to be uh, picky on, on who you're going to give that money to, which stock is going to get that money, right? And so you have to let those trades come to you. One of the examples I give is hunting, right? If a hunter goes out into the middle of the woods and just starts shooting everywhere, you know, he, he's going to scare everything off, right? We say, well, if I just spray the bullets in the, in the woods, I'll certainly hit something, right? No, 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 no. That's the worst possible way to hunt, right? What kind of hunter would do that? What does a hunter do? He goes up into the tree. He's quiet. He gets his gun and he uses a scope and he waits and he waits and he waits. And then eventually a big old buck walks up if he's lucky right into his scope and he waits till he's just right in the perfect place and then pow, right? He gets his buck. He gets his deer. The hunter succeeds when the hunter follows rules. But if the hunter goes into the woods and starts spraying everything that he can see because maybe he'll get something, then he's going to fail, right? He's going to scare everything off. The same thing with the trader. You have to let the good trade come to you. And every single day, there is not a trade. Let me just say it again. Every single day, you're not going to find a trade. It may be three or four days before you finally see something come to you. It, I've been in a place where I haven't seen anything for two or three weeks, sometimes two or three months before I see something really good come across my path. But guess what? I'm not going to take my money and just throw it out there because I'm, I want something to happen. I'm going to wait until the buck walks in front of me, right? I'm going to wait until the opportunity sets itself up. And those who don't understand that are the ones who are prone to overtrading. They overtrade because they don't have a plan. They don't fully know what to look for in a chart or they don't know what to look for in a good trade. So you have to become clear about your rules and then you can create a trading plan and then it's just a matter of the price coming to you. That stock setting up just perfectly and coming right to you. No more chasing stocks, no more impulsive trade execution, but instead focusing upon that stock that comes right to you, perfect setups that you are looking for. So this is exactly what we're talking about here. Five wisdom keys for new traders. I could go on and on and on and share more and more with you. And in fact, if you want more, we uh, have a couple of things to say. Number one, I would urge you, if you're not currently a member here at followthemoney.com, we have uh, some free things that our members get, but you can, we have a few free things for you as a non-member. You can go to followthemoney.com forward slash trading rules. Very simple. Follow the money.com forward slash trading rules. Go there and you'll see that all you have to do is enter your email address and we will send you that video I was talking about, the 12 lessons of the world's greatest stock traders. We'll also send you my top 10 trading rules that you can start using until you have your own. You need to, of course, create your own, but you can at least have some good trading rules that you can follow that are time tested. Additionally, if you want even more teaching, Coming up on July 25th, I'm going to be doing a full day, six hour trend trading boot camp. 
if you want to take trading to the next level, if you want to turn trading into a part-time income that you can have for a long time, I urge you to go to our Trend Trading Boot Camp July 25th. Go register, go reserve your seat. This is our most powerful event that we do. It's called the Trend Trading Boot Camp, and this is where I spend six hours going through so many different topics, giving you a step-by-step -step plan for you to start a part-time trading business. You can do this. This can be an income stream for you. 2020 can be the year that you turn on a new income stream. But be careful. Treat this like a business. Don't think that trading is just something you can do in your spare time and you won't end up getting hurt in the long run. It's something that you have to study. It's something that you have to investigate. It's something that you have to spend time about. It's a, it's a business. And it literally will throw off income. But you've got to put your due diligence in. And there's lots of rules that you need to think about. And there's lots of things that you need to really kind of internalize. So anyway, followthemoney.com forward slash bootcamp if you want to register for our upcoming trend trading bootcamp. Let me teach you so many things to help you become a better trader. We've had many, many people go through our bootcamp in the past. And we're looking forward to the next one coming up in July, July 25th. So two calls to action here. First of all, if you want our free trading rules and that free video on the uh, 12 greatest lessons from the world's greatest stock traders, then you go to followthemoney.com forward slash trading rules. Just download that for free. If you're already a member, you already have access to that. So just go to your dashboard and download those rules and video there. You don't need to go enter your email address again if you're already a member. Secondly, if you want to say, you know what, I want to take this to the next level. I'm charged up. I really want to trade. I've been trying to figure this out and I need some help. Invest in your education. Go to followthemoney.com forward slash bootcamp. Reserve your seat for our upcoming boot camp, July 25th, and be ready to learn a tremendous amount about trading and get a step-by-step -step plan so that you can turn this into a part-time income stream that will last you your entire life. Hey friends, this is Jerry Robinson from Follow the Money Weekly. Recently, we have been receiving many emails from our listeners commenting on the great help they're getting from our precious metals expert, Tom Cloud. Gold and silver are excellent hedges against the growing threat of coming U.S. inflation. Who's your gold guy? Make it Tom Cloud. With over 30 years' experience with precious metals, Tom will answer all of your questions. Don't buy your gold and silver through some call center and pay inflated prices. Call my good friend Tom Cloud and speak directly with him and get all of your questions answered. For a limited time, Tom is offering free shipping and insurance on every gold and silver purchase made by our listeners. Call 800 247 2812. And when you do, tell him that Jerry Robinson from Follow the Money Weekly sent you. And he'll throw in that free shipping and insurance on your entire order. Call your gold guy, Tom Cloud, right now for the very best deals on gold and silver coins. 800-247-2812. That is 800-247-2812. Hello friends, Jerry Robinson here from followthemoney.com. Are you a new or aspiring trader? If so, I want to invite you to a upcoming trend trading bootcamp that we have scheduled for July 25th of this year, 2020. It's going to be a full day of rigorous trading education that will equip you to profit from the direction of any financial market anytime. You will learn a step-by-step -step system for making money in the stock market and you're going to receive a tremendous amount of education in this six hour course. It's a very unique course, our Trend Trading Bootcamp. We've already had many people go through this bootcamp and have had wonderful feedback. In fact, if you take a look at our website, followthemoney.com forward slash bootcamp, you can see the full online schedule, which begins Saturday, July 25th at 8.30. We begin module one and we conclude the day at around 5 o'clock, 4.30 or 5 o'clock Central Time uh, with six different sessions. You'll also receive a packet in the mail filled with lots of information, uh, many, many different uh, resources that you're going to have access to. This is a course that will literally help you move into a part-time trading business. If you're wanting to turn trading into an income stream in 2020, 
you need to be at our trend trading boot camp. Learn all about it online. Followthemoney.com forward slash boot camp. That's followthemoney.com forward slash boot camp. All right, friends. Well, that brings us to the end of our broadcast today. I hope you enjoyed our educational piece on five wisdom keys for the new trader. Let me leave you with a final word, as I always like to do, this time by the comedian Richard Pryor, when he said, There was a time in my life when I thought I had everything. Millions of dollars, mansions, cars, nice clothes, beautiful women, and every other materialistic thing you can imagine. Now I struggle for peace. It's an incredible statement incredible admission by someone who had reached the pinnacle or so he thought only to discover that with all of his getting he still wanted one of the most basic things of all and that was peace peace of mind peace in the soul peace in the spirit as the ancient roman poet horace once said the covetous man is always in want true and lasting peace does not come through money or possessions or anything material instead it is only found through a right relationship with our creator and that's just something to think about. Remember friends, when you want the truth about the global economy, just follow the money. Have a safe and prosperous week, and we'll see you right back here next time. Until then, God bless. All of the information contained on the Follow the Money podcast is strictly for informational and educational purposes. It should not be construed as specific investment advice. The views and opinions of our guests and sponsors, including Tom Cloud, are their own and do not necessarily represent the views of FTMDaily.com or Robinson Media Group, LLC. Jerry Robinson does hold an insurance license and at times may offer consulting on life insurance and fixed retirement income products. Follow-up, individualized responses to email or phone requests that involve the rendering of personalized investment advice for compensation will not be made absent compliance with state investment advisor registration requirements or an applicable exemption or exclusion and applicable insurance regulations. Past performance is not indicative of future results. You should be aware of the real risk of loss in following any strategy or investment discussion discussed on the podcast. Remember, never do your financial planning through podcast or radio. It's your money. Be wise. Do your due diligence and always consult a trusted financial professional before making any financial decisions.